Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. It is a cloudy day outside, although I do see some patches of blue sky out to the west. And so hopefully we'll see the sun here in a little bit. Had some rain move through overnight. Uh, chilly morning, 44 degrees here at the house, looking for a high in the, in the low 50s here in Wausau. So the warm weather from our past few days has gone away and uh, probably won't be coming back for a long time, which is, which is kind of sad. <laughs> anyway, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Um, what else? No, I think we just go right to the depot. Got a bit, little bit of an itchy nose today. I re started recording one and uh, one of these just before this one. And uh, right in the middle of the Bible reading had a huge sneeze. So Needless to say, that won't be going up on, on, on YouTube or Facebook, but mm, we got an itchy nose, uh, and hopefully we'll get through this one. Check, check in time. Did I do that? Leave a comment or a question below. I think I did that. Devo comes from Christ in Our Home. The writer is Stephanie Harper from Littleton, Colorado. And our scripture reading is 1 Peter 5, 1 to 11. 1 Peter 5, oh, little puppy dog going across. With, with somebody walking it, so that's a good thing. <laughs> First Peter 5, 1 to 11. Now, as an elder myself and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those in your charge, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves, keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary the devil prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters, hold on, I gotta flip the page. Your brothers and sisters in all the world are un undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Excuse me just a second here. Notice who's around it. Okay, I forgot to do this. Cheers, church. <laughs> My pastor, John, blessed beans here. Take a sip of coffee. All right. On to the Devo. Devo and Christ in Our Home from Stephanie is titled Tending the Flock. And the theme verse is verse 3. Be examples to the flock. My teenage cousins have lived with my parents and me for the past few years. For the most part, it's been a wonderful experience. <laughs> I can imagine. For the most part, it, it's probably pretty good. And then there are those days, right? Watching them grow and develop in an environment that is loving and safe. That's good that they have that place for them. At first, though, <laughs> here we go, it was a bit of a shock to our quiet lives to suddenly be responsible for three more people and their futures. More than, any, <clears throat> excuse me, more than anything, what I have learned is that being a parental figure is so much more complex than just protecting and caring for basic needs. You are also responsible for teaching those in your care what it means to be kind and loving people. As one of their closest examples, I am constantly aware of the model I am setting. It's sobering, but also an honor that God calls me to be a reflection of Jesus' way of love every day. Now, that doesn't just go for Stephanie uh, and her parents. <coughs> Excuse me, it goes for each one of us who are uh, followers of Jesus. We are examples. We are models. And uh, frankly, some of the models of, of what we see, some of our 
uh, political leaders doing, uh, especially when regards to um, political ads. My brother uh, Ken Gibson mentioned this on his Devo this morning. It's 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 not so humbling. Uh, they're, they're, I'm, I'm sorry, they're not so humble. Um, and and uh, yeah, it's sad. We see the uh, the bearing of false witness. <laughs> That's one of the big ten that uh, people break in these political ads, saying that my 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 opponent will do this and that and the other thing, and you will be unsafe, and, and the world's going to go to heck, and America's going to be destroyed, and it's all because if you voted for this one guy or one person. So, uh, sorry to get off on a political rant there, but <laughs> what my what my brother Ken said, it, it, it kind of struck me too. It, it's it's sad to see those things on you know it's posted on TV. Anyway, um, we are called to be different, though. We, as followers of Jesus, are called to be examples, uh, to live our lives modeling Jesus, too. And what, what, what that means, what, what are Jesus' teachings, right? Love. Love one another. Love your neighbor. Love your enemies. That's, you know, love God with everything you have. Love your neighbor as yourself. Um, I think we've heard, we've we as followers are called to live that out, and I don't think sometimes we do a very good job at that. I know I don't sometimes. Love. That's really it. All comes down to, um, and that may sound naive. Oh, we just can't love everybody. Why not? Why can't we? Why can't we? Ponder that. Why can't we show love to every single person in this world? And then we are examples of Jesus. And then the, the people who are in our charge in the church, the younger people, um, will see that. You know, the motto for, uh, for First English is share the light of Christ. We share that light and that love with others. And we are that model for our young people, and our young people see that and hopefully say, yeah, this Jesus thing is pretty cool. I don't know if they'll say that or not. <laughs> Maybe not. But anyway, uh, it, it's, it's different than what the world thinks about. Right? The world doesn't think about love. The world thinks about power. The world thinks about greed. The world thinks about taking advantage of other people. Um, but we are called to be different. Jesus calls us to be different. Jesus calls us to love. And that means every single person. Well, that kind of rambled a little bit, and I hope, hope you got the main message of uh, being humble, serving others, and loving others. So we're going to call it there. <laughs> uh, have a good day. Be of, be of strong heart and courage to stay to your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Um, Wash your hands, wear a mask, distance is appropriate, all that stuff. We're still medium here in uh, Marathon County, so uh, do what you can to protect others and protect yourself. And we do this, of course, because uh, we want to love one another and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Parental God, walk with all who have the sacred duty of caring for children and youth. Amen. And the prayer concern is for foster parents and guardians. Yes, those... People need our prayers as well. So be a, uh, yeah, we did that already. Blessings upon you this day. <laughs> Peace.